lambda x dot lambda y dot, and then um, the lambda term that represents if then else. All right, so I don't, so all of those things that actually give us all the syntactic flexibility when we're writing languages are not really part of the basic idea of the language. They're part of the syntactic presentation. Okay. Um, so it's the same thing here. So I did, uh, so I can, in fact, because I can give a meaning to the delta transitions in lambda calculus, I can introduce constants, and then I can give, I can put all the smarts about what is that constant into the delta transitions. All right? Everybody okay now? But I don't have delta transitions on the Turing machine. So what would nine mean? Because let me give it to you this way. What would nine mean? So how would I be able to write a Turing machine function to add nine plus two? I don't have add, so I have to make a Turing machine. So how would I write a Turing machine function? So if I don't have a representation, but I assert that there's a symbol nine that I write on my tape, and there's a symbol two that I write on my tape, and I want to write a Turing machine function nine to add a and b, how would I do it? You had your hand up first. Well, I was thinking in terms of Right, right, right. So yes, hold that though, because we're trying. We're considering what would happen if we had symbols. So if you had symbols, you need a base case for every symbol to do it, right? You need yeah. to have an exception. You'd, have, you'd have to have something to you'd interpret. You'd have an infinite two. number of exceptions. Right. Cases. Yeah, that's something to interpret once, something to interpret two, something to interpret three, something to interpret four, so, and so on. Because there's no innate meaning to these symbols, so I'd essentially have to write something that gives a meaning to each one of these symbols. You can write something, or you can write some way to convert an oral and base 10 to the All right, what are you writing it in? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, so you're yeah, so so because we have no meaning associated with any of these symbols, um, I have to have something that uniformly will allow me to give meaning. Once I actually give meaning to it, then in fact I can name that meaning, but I can't a priori. I don't say that I have a symbol that has a meaning because I have no way to represent it. Right. So a way to represent it is in fact to have these strings. And of course, in order to avoid the ambiguity of blank, what does it mean? Is it a zero or is it something else? Um, we want to have zero has to be at least one character, a string of at least one character. All right, so then how would I add a, a, a string of characters representing nine to a string of characters representing two? should end up with 11. So um, I have a string that at, at 11 is going to be represented by 12, right? <laughs> right? So uh, so 11, so I should end up starting with a string representing 9, which has 10 characters, and a string representing 2, which has 3 characters. I want to end up with a string representing 11, which should have 12 characters. That's how we'll interpret it. So I can, um, so actually addition can be really easy. So Robin, with your idea? I was saying you can just concatenate and then remove one character. That's exactly it. Essentially, I don't have to concatenate. I just have to remove the blank. Uh, in other words, consider what it will look like. So um, we'll say that uh, let's say uh, let's say zeros represent uh, the, the symbols I'm using. So that I have blank then zero. Nine's too big. Let's just do three plus. So once I find out I've hit the blank, um, 
then I learned back up and turned the last zero into a one. And that works pretty smoothly. So I just added three plus two, and I ended up with one, two, three, four, five. With error, did I try to test the script? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. difference. I'm just wondering, I mean, I, I should have, in fact, um, I think in the second one, you I uh, lost a zero. Um, <laughs> you lost a zero in the second to last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.